mission statement for Living Word Community Church is that we exist to empower followers of Christ for maturity and leadership. One of the questions that I'm always asking is, what does good leadership look like? In fact, what does great leadership look like? The ministry at Living Word that does that is known as the Leading Edge Ministry, and the core program and process that we have is known as Leadership Foundations. Leadership Foundations is a mid-sized community. Uh, Most years we have 60 to 100 people that are part of the course. In that mid-sized community, we form small groups that stay together week after week. We also have one-on-one mentoring that takes place throughout the year. I really appreciated the, uh, the community within our table. Um, the way we work together as a group. I really like the mentoring relationship um, I formed with, uh, with John. Uh, he just was a natural at uh, asking the right questions, bringing out the things with me uh, that, that were uh, necessary uh, to be able to advance and grow. We were talking about some of the things that matter the most. We talked about vision, values, living with high intentionality, We talk about self-awareness and how one becomes self-aware. We go really deep below the waterline, and by that it's a reference to going into the heart, the inner world, out of which the Bible says everything flows, including how we lead. As a Leading Edge facilitator, it was exciting to see the transformation that took place in the members of of the team that I was involved with. There was a number of times when we would run across below the waterline issues as we had our discussions, and, and see the lights come on, was just an exciting thing. Several of the speakers talked about below the waterline. There's actions that we take and thoughts that we have, and they're informed by attitudes and a number of other things that they discuss about being underneath, below the waterline. And God's Spirit really was using that throughout the course to help me examine my own heart. As a Christian of six years, I had never really thought about my, what my values are. I did so many shameful things that I never thought about. What are my values? What are my morals? What is my passion? You know, what is my, um, you know, what do I want to accomplish? And all of these things, when you went below the waterline, um, it was just something that I really needed to think about. The the below-the-waterline graph, for me, uh, was like a tool. It was like something I pulled out of one of my toolboxes. I I think I have more more compassion for people now, Uh, not only my business, but when I'm dealing with other individuals, um, because I kind of feel we're all broken, and understanding where people are coming from, it just gave me a heart of um, servant leadership. I think the best piece of it though was all the uh, values clarification stuff in the first half of the year. Um, we did a lot of self uh, assessment and looking inside ourselves and that was real worth one. Well Jeff and I took the course together as a married couple but we chose to be in two separate groups and we did really enjoy that because after we um, listened to the evening and discussed different topics then we could go home and talk about the things that we learned. I enjoyed being able to just sit and talk with a group of people about just important ideas, important themes in human behavior and in styles of leadership. If you've heard anything in the last few moments that's really grabbed hold of your heart and your interest, uh, the next step is real simple. All you have to do is let us know that you're interested in finding out more, and then we'll get in touch with you.